this season on Beyond Skinwalker Ranch. Guys, buckle up. Oh my gosh. Look at all this activity that's happening. There's a UFO buried there. A UFO buried. When I saw this, my jaw just hit the table. There is something on this ranch that seems to be trying to communicate. I've caught one. I've caught a skinwalker here in this area. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Did you see that? <laughs> yeah, it just went. There's some kind of disturbance over here. It's going down. It looks like it's trying to fly through a force field. We cannot rule out a secret military base right there in those mountains. You sure you guys weren't bugged? We're already known. This is a situation in Intel that we call burn. This pisses me off. What it sounds like we need to do is uncover what's below the surface. The question is, how do we do that? Burn the hole! Oh! All frequencies in the spectrum are being charged. That radiation is above 6,000. We're pegging out. Let me see what happens. Whoa. Yeah, that got a reaction. Oh, my gosh. Whoa. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. We absolutely want to follow up on this. If Bigelow would have found that, he would have stayed. You ready? There is a connection between the paranormal, UFOs, and the myths of ancient history. The clues are scattered across the landscape from a forbidden past, maybe even in your own backyard. There is a connection between the true nature of our reality, consciousness, and the unexplained. I'm Carl the Crusher. Let's explore the unknown. That is crazy. So it's crashed a couple times now, this thing. Whoa. And there's some kind of disturbance going on down there that's disrupting this our is, sensors. This is in front of the settler's cabin. What? That's where it thought it was. So your drone. Your GPS position. Your drone thought, thought that it was flying over Cuba instead of here? recorded was there welcome back everybody it is the next morning everybody is a little bit groggy exhausted and tired we all went to bed early and it is a blizzard outside we got several inches of snow there is a sleep coming down it's like wet and cold we're gonna be hiking up to the lava vent tubes to see if we can get past all that loose stuff on the surface and we can get down in to where we're picking up the void uh, with the drone and the uh, ground penetrating radar data so let me show you outside what we're up against today oh, oh there's the crew trying to back up right now even on day one, we've been struggling not to get stuck right in front of the saloon, and now we got to drive up to the upper meadow. Hopefully, we can make it. Snow plow to the rescue. Look how cool this vintage thing is. This old Dodge Power Wagon. They don't make them like that anymore. That is so rad. <laughs> I even love the color. He's got the snow tires on, the wooden flatbed that he's customized and put on there. The thing is still running. Oh my gosh, that is awesome. <laughs> right? That is cool. He saved the day, cleared us out, and now we can make it all the way up to the uh, upper meadow. Hopefully get the job done today. You ready to hike down? Can you get it, Carl? Yeah, I'm getting I'm it right now. Down. This is video. You're always thinking I'm taking pictures. Oh. <laughs> hey. We're live on the YouTube channel right now. So you're carrying oxygen. We've got the blasting cord and the shovel. What's the plan today, man? And I'm not saying it's cold out here, but I thought I saw an Imperial Walker go by. I, I know, know, right? Pretty yeah. soon we're going to get invaded by the Empire. Yeah. Right? <laughs> it feels like Hoth right here. So this is a good sign. If we're carrying an oxygen tank, that means you're 
feeling optimistic like we might get a void today. Well, we're running out of time. Yeah. And we're running out of weather. We got a storm coming in. If we crack it open, we're going in the tunnel. We got to go in the tunnel. That's so right. go big or go it. home today. Yep. Okay. Sounds good, man. Let's do it. Thank we you. Got glow sticks. No, we, we no. got smoke bombs. Oxygen tanks. No, we do have a smoke Oxygen bomb. <laughs> will you do, will you do a, a publicity still for me? I'm Before doing it. You're getting right? publicity on my YouTube right now. Three million followers right nice. now. <laughs> yeah. I need a still for the scuba company. Okay, there you go. Okay, Thank we're going to get a picture. Follow him on Instagram. We'll put the link down below so you can go to check out this awesome still photo I'm about to take too. Have you ever found yourself hiking up a mountain in the snow carrying a box? of explosives on your shoulder. You're in for an adventure. That's what I'm doing today. <laughs> Thanks, man. Yep. Oh, Onward and upward, here we go. This is heavy. Hold up. Uh, so you're, you're carrying lunch, Paul? Call before the storm. We're up here at hole number two right now with the backhoe excavator. <laughs> Getting ready. We're gonna set another charge in this one. We got another one back at home. One, but big day today, man. We got a lot going on. Jeff is ready to get some answers. Look at him over there. He's like a kid in a candy store. <laughs> yeah, man. It's exciting times. I just want to remember it all, you know? It's like, I'm having a great time up here with all these guys, making a lot of friends. This whole crew has been awesome to work with. Lee, Dondo, all these guys are freaking awesome. Okay, that's good. I thought so you're going down to the rock that's not going to collapse. Just have a McBurney cam. We'll finish him Look at this hole now. This has all been excavated out. Tons of hand cut logs and wood and debris in here. How many sticks are we gonna do in this one? Uh, about 42 sticks. 42 sticks? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> Thank you. And here comes Jeff with the spool, like a champion hiking up the mountain. Top of that ridge. So we're going up there on that ridge, getting in the safe zone. We now have 40, 44 sticks of dynamite down in there, dude. You got 44 sticks down in there with the line coming up out. Ready to pop, so we've got daisy chaining them together. We're gonna go up on that ridge all together. We're going in. We're going in. Doesn't make any sense that we're finding hand cut timber, logs, and debris down in this hole. And it's all back filled in, didn't connection at the other two mine and troops. And it's locked six to me up here and out there. For some reason, they were digging and then built back in with backfill for no reason. It doesn't seem like they were mining. What were they looking for? Now, I have been sent to survey last site one, and I found a shovel, and it was I and his first, let's see who knows, 46 sticks of dynamite down that hall. Bullshit. So we have like over 80 sticks of dynamite between here and there in the ground. There's the charge going here cable coming out but whoosh somebody left their lunch <laughs> apologizing right now for the wind I do have a sound muff on but it's not going to help it's so bad in here yes sir Andy. yeah that's time we're going to go to the top of this hill to get a little hit in or 80 sticks of dynamite. There we go. Nice. Mount Nelson's supposed to be right there. There's Jeff with the ATV. It's on top. <laughs> it's gonna be hard to see, but Last right there, another one straight over there. Big one. 
Sticks, man. You got over 40 sticks per hole. That's awesome. Going big. You've been wanting to do this for what, 15 years now? Yep. See what's down on the ground here? Yep. We'll find out, right? Now we can figure out what's putting up that uh, main bat signal. We're hitting uh, that volcanic mash in both holes, hand cut logs in the hole. It looks like it's back up there. No doubt from volcanic. Yes. But at the same time, into volcanic. Into volcanic. You have a weird mystery here, my friend. <laughs> a lot of people are on board with this right now. Jack Bomb's coming up the hill. Oh, there he is. Captain, did you call your neighbor? I did. I'm going to call him again right now. Thank you. Oh, pot. Yes, I'm going to sit right here. This is the view. <laughs> right here. <clears throat> You're like a firewood front row seat. There's the whole crew, got the camera guys, Dave and everybody. Here's Lee. Keep an eye out, he might see it from his window. He's gonna feel it. Yeah, he's gonna definitely feel it. <laughs> the weather is not nice. I love you. Which guy is it? The same guy? Just call him one of the neighbors, let him know. We're ready to go. We're actually pretty close to the last radius, so we're gonna definitely feel the shock wave. crack a camera or something, I'm gonna keep my head on the street here. Good gravy. Wind just blew my hat clear off. Be careful, man. But yeah, we're gonna get a loud pop, I think both at the same time. So we're gonna have like 80 sticks, over 80 sticks of dynamite all going off at once, boom, boom, side by side. Yeah, if we're gonna disrupt anything with shaman or anything paranormal, it's gonna be off of this, right? Oh, the phone company guy is down at that. Oh really? Yes. And he's got some stories to tell too. Yeah. So we're gonna have to talk to him later. Just in the nick of time, huh? Look at this wind whipping. successful blast just went off wasn't able to film it we were all on camera going but the second one is all set up getting ready to go for two but man the wind is coming down
plan here, sir. One, then two. One's first. You ready? Yeah, brother. Are you kidding? Right. Safety up. Get in position. This is going to be the big one. Yeah, with the wind trying to blow us off here. I know. It's going to be crazy. Five, four, three, two, one. Fire the hole. Shot fired successfully. Look at this wind whipping. Wow, that, that storm is here. We are officially out of time. You ready? I'm ready. Stand by for shot number two. Take good cover. All right. You're ready. ready for a countdown? Ready. Let's do this. Five, four, three, two, one. Fire the hole. Wow, that was something else. Beautiful. That, was, that looked like a good hit. We oh. gotta get out there, right? Storm's worse. Let's have a look. We gotta go. Looking forward to seeing what we did. What do you, th you think it goes in there further? What's that? Do you think it might go under there further? Four feet deeper, yeah, man. Yeah. It looks like a cavity under that ledge. Okay. You got the business end of the poker? Yeah. Okay. Now here comes the smoke. Here comes the smoke. I'll take that throw. Okay. Got you. Okay. Pull smoke. Yeah. Yeah. Glasses yeah. on when you pull smoke, please. Yep. Okay, we're going to do that again. Nick, you might as well do it again and catch it. Okay. See if you can get it back in there deep. Well, we did it. Both explosions went off with a boom and with great success. Oh, I gotta clean my lens off one second. Full speed, go, 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 go. Got a little honk for trying. This is more exciting than that football game. There, now just keep the mojo. Just keep the mojo. Go for it. Go, go, go. Got another another honk for effort. Is that a honk for Oh, the honk for all. He's coming back down hot and he's coming fast. Okay. Oh, you good back there, man. <laughs> Ramming speed. Got it out, Oscar. You're up next. The wind Let's do there we go. All right. Make it Put happen, me in, coach. Oh man, it's our turn now. Just 
keep going. Just keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Don't stop. You got it. A little bit of drift in the back. Never hurt anything. Nice. That was pretty good. We did it. We are back in the saloon. Successful day. I wasn't able to film the explosions or anything, but what an awesome time. We totally got skunked out from the weather. Look at this total blizzard came in, skunked all of our plans and operations, but we definitely have future plans. We got to come back and check those holes and see if we can get in deeper when the snow's gone with the backhoe, see if we can get access, see where those tunnels seem to connect underground. And maybe even tonight, if all of this has stirred up something paranormal. So I'm going to ask some of the cast and crew around. We'll find out if anybody had any kind of weird encounters. I know I've been kind of sleeping a little bit off but no nightmares or anything like that. And I'm not sleeping up in the shaman room. I'm down in the bunkhouse. I'm actually sleeping really good. So I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I'll ask some of the guys who slept up here. I think the survived pretty well. No problem so far. I couldn't see shit. There was moments where I couldn't see shit for sure. Yeah. Both I'm pointing in the right direction. That's what I was saying. I was like at a four, I'm like, fuck it. I'm going on nine just in case. Yeah, and then this, I don't know who this guy is, but, but I've had to, so many people have been putting a lot of things on there. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to send an email. I'm staying down in the bunkhouse uh, right now and I haven't been having any unusual experiences but some of the crew, the camera crew, have been having nightmares while staying here. Odie has been the hero of the trip. She runs around, keeps everybody company. Uh, when anybody goes on a jog or anything like that, there's Odie, the ranch dog, hanging out. <clears throat> um, and I want to apologize for how I always have audio problems. I'm trying to work on that with the wind noise and uh, other things, but we're doing the best that we can on the fly. A lot of this is amazing that I'm even allowed to film and share with you guys. So I'm just kind of like pulling my phone out on the fly, but I try not to whip my phone around too fast. I always want to have a good audio. I'm always trying to make the experience genuine. So you guys feel like you're all right here with me and know what it feels like. Um, and sometimes the wind is just blowing and you can't hear shit. And that's the way it is for me. And I don't know how to fix that for the camera, but I can't. I mean, when the wind's blowing really hard, I don't know. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoy it. I've, uh, Lato just sent me a thing saying that he figured out there's a new AI tool to maybe help cut the wind noise and stuff. But I don't know. Maybe I'll come in here and do a little paranormal investigating tonight. We'll see. Feels interesting in here. I feel like it would be a... A good experience. Plus, the crew that came in here um, for the show got the same similar findings that my team has had here in the settler's cabin where the energy levels and the frequencies are way higher than they should be. Checking for weird thermal anomalies. We just got a really high EMF reading in the kitchen, or actually EF reading, some of it into the thousands. So I grabbed this new thermal imager. We'll see if we can get anything. Oh, you can see the light fixtures putting off extra heat right in the middle. Let's see in the kitchen here. You can tell where the ovens are still hot. Look at the weird uh, coloration right above the, the counter right there. It's like Whoa. dark. That looks weird. Hmm. 
Is that just uh, maybe a normal resonance from the metal that the hood? It, if it was, I mean, if it was hot, it should be red or white, but that's like black. Is it still hot from cooking? Is that what you're saying? Or hot? And no, I mean, hot. that's showing that it's cold. Like a, that's like a dark cold signature. Got it. I don't know, that's weird. I'm having trouble even filming both at the same time. But see, now it's, it feels like it's moving around. Maybe if I look over, this whole ceiling is weird. We might need to do a come back and crawl in the attic thing. Cause there is an attic hatch right there to see what's creating the weird anomalies. Cause you're saying you're feeling sick in here. Yeah. You're getting headaches and weird dizziness. And this I'm is the. I'm dizzy and my head is it's right here. Right in the front of your head. Yeah. It's yeah. Dizzy now. So we can't get strong readings right here in the coming out of the ceiling, and then that's weird. If I go over there, I get I I go pale. Huh. This is where I walked through and I thought I saw a lady standing at the kitchen sink and then there was nobody in here. I, we need to go up in the hatch here. stuff coming out of that door. I think we need to come back at night. Look up. So look at the ceiling. Oh, yeah. Look, let's get back here and look up there. At just that open spot. What's all that black stuff? That's a, like a cold spot. That makes no sense. So there, so see, I know for let's say future reference, I'll go up there and check the insulation and stuff around there, right? Right. Right. Just like I did with the electric. Right. And we're getting weird, but you're saying there's nothing wrong with the electrical. You nothing checked wrong it all. With the electric. But see, on the EMF, we're getting like a 900 reading up here. I and would then, say these are old fixtures, probably. But then Ooh, uh, yeah. you think that's just a cold spot that needs insulation right there? Um, I'll, I'll find out. That's, we a, could, that's an easy one, you know? Well, we could figure that out. Yeah. yeah, that's easy. See, but why would it not be here is the question. And that's it like, might be oh, that there might be the warm. heat from the yes, heat gotcha. from the fire. But yep. right, right there is like a weird cold spot. I don't know. Hey, is this our dessert for later? All right. Yes. <laughs> that, yeah, we're behind the wall of the fireplace, yep. so you got the so vents you going. Figure it all out. Yep. I'll point it over there, and you can so they can see what that. Oh yeah, see that? Yeah, on the other side of the wall, there's where the fire is. So there's the gap in the foam for the uh, walk-in freezer. Right, between the wall and the ceiling there, where yep. the heat comes is leaking through. Yeah, that I'm was pretty easy. So yeah, debunked. <laughs> right nice. there, look at that. Working. Yeah, right on. It's almost like a dark square in the ceiling right there. So we'll have to check for insulation or weird energy readings, but that's right where she's saying she stands and starts feeling dizzy and sick. So and... wait, here, while we're doing it though, look. Yeah. I could see in the sheetrock, I could see there's a, a square cut. Yeah. Look at it. Oh, yeah. There's a different see? square so cut. So there, we can actually see where we could work at this. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. It's a different size sheetrock, maybe. It's a little bit thinner sheetrock. Right. It is like somebody's cut a swatch yep. that's replaced it. So it's just like kind of giving off a different temperature oh, or something. We're figuring out these things. Yeah. You know, slowly but surely. That light over there is fine. Those lights are putting out too much. Maybe some new fixtures not in out of the order. Right. There we have a spot. Cold spot. Where somebody cut something. And then didn't something. didn't re insulate it. Yep. Yeah. Try to figure it out, but then also um, when while well, they're filming in the saloon there, but the the light bulb in that weird hatch in between the bathrooms has a really high EMF reading and, and kind of and that's an LED bulb. Yeah. 
We, so we gotta do a video where we come back and we go up in the creepy hatches and look in the attics. Go through the creepy attic and go into the stand up. Yeah, yeah. The, the, the rooms of perversion. All the weird ones up above the saloon. <laughs> yes. Yeah. There's some weird stories uh, up above the saloon in there, so we'll have to cover that in another episode or whatever. But yeah, it looks like we're gonna be going up in the attics and up above the saloon in some of the crawl spaces to check it out. <laughs> Look at this. Wow. There, you got a drift going out the back, dude. Holy smokes. I knocked it down but a little bit. The sun just cracked out the through the... water. Oh, yeah. The storm broke, and now look. I'm sorry, I'm going to step in front of you really quick. Look at Mount Wilson right here. This big drift. Whoa. So beautiful. Oh, my gosh. Look at this look at the snow blowing off the ridge wow i gotta get a clean shot without those power lines The storm finally broke and the weather is just absolutely stunning up here. It's calm, the sun just came out. Look at Mount Wilson in the background, just lit up with the golden sunshine. There's steam and clouds blowing over the ridge and you can see the Vortac Tower poking up right up there. And we've got the settler's cabin and the bunk houses right down there. And uh, now they're filming some scenes in the saloon, kind of wrapping some stuff up. And then we might do kind of a creepy night investigation down in the settler's cabin and up and down the meadow because, you know, we've been setting off dynamite. We've been doing big explosions. We've done like over 40 sticks of dynamite uh, in two different spots. And if we've disturbed anything, if it's anything at all like Skinwalker Ranch, then who knows if we're gonna have any kind of paranormal activity kick off this evening. So we're gonna stay up tonight a little bit and see if anything happens. But wow, look at that back there, that's so beautiful.
know your lights are on. What's that? Okay. Okay. No. Uh, Jeff and I are hiding up on the balcony. Shh. Quiet on set. Maybe he'll show up after we dynamite at the place. They're going to follow the path of the gun pile, the animal mutilation that you found. Man, that was... This is about the same similar situation. A little bit of snow on the ground. A little bit of snow on the ground. Pulling out the front gate. It is a calm, peaceful morning. We all had a celebration in the saloon. I'm wearing my my bite uh, teeth aligners to get rid of that gap in the front right now. So if I talk funny, that's why. But I'm in the old settler's cabin. I didn't do a late night investigation because the crew decided that they were gonna take thermal imagers, night vision, a whole bunch of stuff. And so Jeff and I stayed up in the saloon and hung out and uh, they had a pretty amazing experience down here in the metal last night. I don't want to tell you guys too much what happened, but you're going to have to go watch the full episode when it premieres and make sure that uh, you go watch it if you haven't seen it yet to see what happened because I wasn't even a part of it. It happened independently right out there. And it really is validating because it's right in line with so many other things that have happened to other people here, including myself, the owners of the property, and it answers so many questions. And now we're finally not alone. Other people are now independently coming and visiting Mount... I gotta do this. Other people are now independently coming and visiting Mount Wilson Ranch and they're becoming experiencers themselves. We don't have to convince them of anything. We don't have to try and prove anything. We definitely don't have to fake anything. I think that people come here and whatever's going on here, the magic of it is real, and they become experiencers themselves. 
and we don't have to sell anything. We don't have to convince anything of it. We don't have to fake anything. Whatever is under the ranch or exists here beyond just the amazing beauty of it every single day being here, but there is something special about this place. And maybe, hopefully soon, if you keep trying, we're gonna get more answers. New Jersey pork roll. That's a specialty breakfast here if you come visit. Everybody's got to sign the best book, man. <laughs> We got to get them all to sign the guest book and then everybody's got to go up and touch the beak of the golden eagle so they have financial prosperity for a year, right? I can eat lots of them today. Mm-hmm. Good breakfast. Time to load up and haul out, but we got to drive through all this crazy snow still. That's been the name of the game here has just been uh, driving through crazy weather conditions this whole time trying to hike around in the crazy snow and uh, make do it is just operation snow removal now getting everybody loaded up and unstuck out in front of the saloon so that everybody can head home they're wrapped their film shoot today but wow what an experience I've overheard that last night, the crew, half of them, they actually saw orbs down in the meadow, right in front of the settler's cabin where I was gonna do investigation last night. But I'm so glad that I didn't go down there and mess around. They went down there on their own, independently with their own equipment. And now half of them are experiencers and witnessed and supposedly caught something on camera, which I still haven't done yet here. So kudos to them. I'm excited to see how it all turns out. I came in here this morning and I cleaned it up. The entire top of this is like a slab of a quartz crystal. I, I still need to clean it up some more with like a toothbrush, but you get the idea how beautiful that is, what came out of that hole. And look at this waterfall of crystal going down the side. And like we found Chris Bartell's boots that he left up here when we came on our last trip. So here they are right by the fireplace. Almost like keepsake mementos from that trip. Spin it in the chest. <laughs> Look at the screen over there, his shoulder. Look at the screen, yeah. Oh, he's flying the drone through. Cool. Oh. <laughs> yeah, the cool. dust off the, the, the sand off the yeah. shuffleboard. That was really great. Right. And key smoke. I just don't want to see the uh, reflection of the moon. Oh, the drawing in the mirror. Yeah.
Look at that chair. Look at that. Holy shit. Now here we are in the saloon again, and we've wrapped up yet another full trip up to Mount Wilson Ranch. This has been amazing working with the crew from beyond Skinwalker. And we got to spend several days up here. We were able to go up and hit all the historical locations and ultimately set off multiple sticks of dynamite, over 80 sticks of dynamite, probably over a hundred total. Uh, blasting those open and the work is not over yet tons of compelling stuff I'm excited to follow up with all of it and work with these guys again in the future And we have tons of plans up here at Mount Wilson Ranch and also other places Make sure and follow everybody else check out all the links down in the description box below everybody throughout this entire series I'm gonna make sure and have their links down there and uh, if you come up to Mount Wilson make sure and send me a selfie with the flag, sign the guest book, and all that good stuff. Look at Odie Dog out there. She always runs down the road to say goodbye when it's time to leave the old saloon. Goodbye, Odie. We love you. You're everyone's favorite. <laughs> goodbye. And there's the sign. All right. I'm back home now and I hope you guys enjoyed all of this behind the scenes for Beyond Skinwalker Ranch. I can't believe I got this incredible opportunity to be able to go up there to Mount Wilson and do all of that and uh, bring all of the behind the scenes and work with the History Channel to show you guys what it was actually like to go up there and film with the whole crew. It was such an awesome and amazing experience and I have an exclusive announcement just for you guys here that the whole incident where the film crew went down into the meadow and they had a strange experience is something that you're all still going to get to see because it's going to be part of an exclusive bonus episode of Beyond Skinwalker Ranch that is coming up so after you watch this make sure and go tune in to the Skinwalker Ranch episode on the History Channel tonight followed by a new episode of Beyond Skinwalker Ranch. And then you guys get to see more of Mount Wilson Ranch uh, on a bonus episode of Beyond Skinwalker Ranch that's still coming out. I can't wait to see it. I'm also really excited to announce that you can be part of the Skinwalker Ranch Insiders Club. And the links are down in the description box below to go and check that out where you can see a lot of inside access. Uh, live interviews with the cast and crew at Skinwalker Ranch and a lot of exclusive uh, content like live stream cams and other stuff. You can also come and visit Mount Wilson Ranch, everything that you love and saw up at the Beyond Skinwalker Ranch episode filmed on the History Channel. You can come and actually stay in the rooms yourself, get a day pass, an overnight pass, become a club membership or even a full big research expedition reservation and request to have me or Jeff be there to guide some of your experiences. So make sure and check the links from Mount Wilson down in the description box below as well. But I'm also partnered here with the Zion Yoga Festival. This is gonna be amazing. Right at the beginning of the month of September, there's gonna be a huge group that comes here to do yoga, learn meditation, connect with the indigenous history of this location. I'm trying to get my friends Roger and Colleen of the Reindigenizing Minds Project to come and help do some opening and closing ceremonies here, but they've asked me to come and be a presenter and speak here to help uh, teach people about the ancient artifacts and locations and petroglyphs in the area and how they affect human consciousness, how you can utilize meditation and also 
the uh, appropriate way to approach indigenous sites if you do find historical artifacts and things when you're hiking and exploring these areas. And this is all in partnership here with the Water Canyon Resort and the Water Canyon Winery and Vineyard, which is where I'm at now. This is a whole vineyard here right by where I live. And they have a resort, uh, an RV park, UTV tours through uh, ready to rides and this whole vineyard with wine tasting. You can come and make moccasins, go on uh, cool experiences, guided experiences, um, off-roading, ride in the sand dunes, see the ancient dinosaur tracks up in the canyon. And uh, it's all part of this whole collaborative event that we're doing at the Water Canyon Resort and Vineyard as part of the Zion yoga festival that's coming up all those links are going to be down in the description box below this is going to be a chance like no other to come and actually meet me in person get to have some experience with with me one-on-one -on -one or with a whole group and then i'm going to be going from there up north near phenomicon to experience a whole week's worth of exploring and cool stuff like that up there with uh, my friends up and around skinwalker ranch and then probably going back to mount wilson ranch which is where we're going to go next in this video series so stay tuned as soon as this video ends in the next set that picks up we're jumping right back to mount wilson ranch in the spring after the snow has melted and there is some crazy discoveries i cannot wait to show you love you guys so much make sure and check out all the etsy stores go support the patreon become a member of the inner circle find out ways you can come and visit be part of the zion uh, yoga festival and visit mount wilson ranch it's all possible we've been working really hard on this can't wait to see you soon